How are you? Wow. I'm having a blast. I'm learning tons of things that I didn't know. That Ben Hur was a Jew. Okay. Who knew? I just learned that at the last table. Don't ask how it's a long story. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's such a long story. <laughs> they didn't know. And that only that table knew. I just knew sat that. down. You brought it up again? <laughs> no, we're done with it. Oh my god. Uh, it's been a oh great god. comic. Hi, Green Lantern, Green Arrow. Good oh. shirt. Oh, thank you. Good thank you very shirt. Much. Have you heard of them? Green Lantern, Green Arrow? Yes. Um, I have. All right, welcome to Comic Con. <laughs> I have. What about Speedy, who's uh, Green Arrow's drug addicted? Yeah, I'm not going to say, I'm no, not, no, not no, going to, no. haven't heard of him. That, this is an actual cover of an actual comic book from the 70s. Seriously? Yeah, they yeah. dealt with uh, heroin in the 70s. Who's in the Green Lantern? Oh, why? Uh, it's a Green Lantern and Green Arrow. Had who's in the comic. movie, though? Uh, Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds. Right. And what's his name doing a voice then? Um, from Castle. Nathan Fillion. Yeah. yeah. He did the voice of the animator. There you go. Oh, oh, well done. Good pull. Very good pull. Hi. Are you looking forward to Clue? Well, yeah, you know, no he must idea. be talking about it. Yeah, we haven't seen it yet. Well, they're, they're still, they started writing it on Saturday. Oh, okay. Okay. Really? Okay. And we don't we don't get a lot of um, updated about oh this is what's coming up or this is what you will do unless it's going to be something big like we're moving you to the yeah. police station right. you know like they'll give them a heads up with that um, but a lot of times we don't see it you know, really fully I don't know who who I would be we'll probably cast Maggie as Scarlet right I don't know clue mm. the game I don't know. There are no You've never I heard know of there's the clue, a Milton Bradley game. game called Clue. Bingo. Bingo. They I know bingo. Oh, man. <laughs> horseshoes. Uh, horseshoes? Yeah. I know horseshoes. <laughs> I don't know Clue, though. A mousetrap. Do we do a mousetrap episode? Okay. Not mousetrap. Um, what was the... Yeah, mousetrap. There was a mousetrap episode. Yes, there was. No, but was there a game... Game uh, of mousetrap. You build the mousetrap. Yeah, trap. that was yeah. my favorite game. Yeah. Or a Monopoly episode. No, but I would want all the property. Uh, I want to win. You want to win. You want to be the victor on top. Let's see how this works. Corbin, how would you uh, compare your character in Psych to your character of Arnie, uh, Arnie from... Uh, L.A. Law? Well, two people who want their way. But every character, every strong character wants their way, I guess. Um, two guys who evidently are alone at 56 and 36. Still not with anybody. Wow, that's sad. I gotta get some sex for Henry. <laughs> well, when Amanda was there, you almost got some. Almost got some when, when my wife was on the show. <laughs> yeah, Henry needs some sex. He's probably not had sex for about twenty years. Fish is a lot. Fish is a lot. <laughs> so how hard is it to be a serious grown up on the show? When Somebody's it's so. Uh, to be to your personality. <laughs> to be learned at these. No, what do you mean? <laughs> um, no, I mean, you know, like, somebody's got to be the mama bear and everything. And so I just kind of feel like, because even even with Henry, you will go off and do odd things as well. So I, I look at the chief as being the one that, like, the grounded, that when the viewers come back in, they'll be like, oh, wait, I can identify with her, right? I mean, as far as the window that I'm giving you to watch the craziness to know that it's okay. Um, that they will all be reined in, that reality will once again persevere. So, But it's hard. They they like to mess up, you know, mess with you when it's your coverage. Like, so the camera will be on me and there's like four people going, not you though, you're very serious. Um, I'm but, serious? Um, so, but uh, but I like her. I think she's a good person. So it kind of makes it easier coming to work. I like her too. <laughs> and as much as uh, you tell everybody, no, you can't do that, they don't listen to you very much. Right? You notice that, right? That seems to be a theme. They were like, I was joking with the writers of, oh, that's an interesting theory, Mr. Spencer. I'm like, that's F12. Um, you know, I don't know. Keep him on a short leash, Henry. That's F9. No, um, anytime anybody says no in the show to anybody, do lay to him. Uh, you know, Gus to Sean, Sean to Gus, me to Sean, her to all of us, uh, Lassiter to everybody, Juliet to Sean. They don't mean it. it no mean means anything. go ahead and do it. No means wackiness ensues. 
to you. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah, but with him now in the office, I can turn a, a more blind eye more often to the guys that, like, he just handle it, handle it, you know? So he's still there kind of keeping, because I've got other things to worry about. You keep an eye on the boys. Try to. Yeah. So you didn't even see any of the, like, the little teasers that they put out there. Oh. Oh. Here. The teaser was great. I think they chose that good one of, with, the, with Sean on the polygraph. So you guys have to sit here all day? No, we bounce around to different rooms like this. Hotels and the Next meeting room over yeah. back. <laughs> so, so Corbin, I wanted to ask you actually a while ago, because I saw this movie. Do you have any memories from being in Plan B? No, I'll tell you what that was. It's, it's weird that it's, I didn't put it on IMDb. Um, my godfather, the man who introduced my parents, uh-huh was in a movie called G.I. Joe with Elvis. And he was this guy who was just, you know, one of these guys who, no problem, Elvis, come to my house, do You know, he was one of these magnanimous kind of guys. And I think what was happening when they did clam it, because I was baby, is they took me to the set, and I was in the, in the, in the, crowd the in the crowd or whatever it is, so. Somebody somewhere along the way got that story out through my god, but it's not me. Oh, that's funny. Because I, I, I was looking for you as one of those little kids dancing, and I wasn't sure, and I didn't <laughs> no. do the math. So. I don't even, I did, you know, I don't remember any of it. I believe I was infant. Yeah. Oh, we won. But that's kind of cool. It's a good story. How did you get involved in acting? Did you get dragged to the thing? Yeah. Uh, no, with my father as a minister, you know, I, I, I kind of was watching acting from, from a very young age, you know. But uh, but they let me... So Dad did theater. And so I kind of followed in his footsteps. So I was starting at like five, six. But not professionally. I didn't do it until after I graduated from college. So, but I went to fine arts high school and wound up in college out here. In your presence. But my first movie was, was it me? <laughs> yeah. But you but no, but I never saw you was that uh, I was getting ready to go to college and Major League was filming in Milwaukee. All right, right. And they put the call out and they said, uh, yeah, we're calling out anybody in Milwaukee to come and fill County Stadium because uh, it was for like the final game. When you guys played the final well, game. You've told me this before. I right? have told you this before. Any, but any great memories? No, no, no. That was just my first I was like just kind of funny that I was on. I mean, I was just in the crowd. I had a full career at that point. <laughs> and I was nearly from, ten. From <laughs> really? Wow. He had the question. No, for Major League, uh, any great moments that stand out from you shooting those movies? Yeah, one. Um, Charlie Sheen, we're in Milwaukee, gets his room robbed, and basically he has. And this is 25 years ago. So his Walkman is stolen. His pot is stolen. Which I don't mind saying because he would only say worse. And a gun was stolen. And maybe some cash. So he's really upset. You know, he doesn't care. He's called the police. So he's not told them that pot was stolen, clearly. But he has to report cash is stolen. Um... His Walkman because he wanted to get insurance or whatever it is, and he has to sort of say my gun because God weapon. forbid something else. He says I don't care. I remember him saying, and they flew this girl in that I remember, and we're in the hotel. And our hotel, the Mark, is connected to a mall, and he used to listen to his music to get ready to warm up and pitch and all that stuff. And um, I remember I, I, I hooked up with him and his girlfriend that he had there and we were getting ready to walk across this from the hotel through one of these skywalks to the mall and he says uh you know, well not at that point it was hot know, but it was but just our hotel and we hooked up so he says um i don't care what they report i don't care anything about you know the money my wallet the 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 walkman please i just hope the police don't put it out there publicly that a gun was stolen and I said, they're not going to, they, they probably won't do that. And this is Charlie in innocent days, right? Um, and uh, so we're walking across the skywalk to go to this mall to buy him a new Walkman because he needed, for the next day of shooting, a Walkman. 
He said, I just don't want them to say, please don't mention the gun. Please, I pray to God they don't get the gun out there. We walk in, the first department you're in is the television department. You know how television have like all the same channel on? It's the news. And honest to God, the newscaster saying, actor Charlie Sheen in the of June to do Major League had a break-in in his room. Amongst the things stolen is his weapon, his personal oh. weapon. And I just remember him going in front of like 50 TV sets, just literally a moment before saying to me, just don't report that. That was my favorite time of day. Sorry guys, our time has ended. They're gonna be kicking us out of the room. Okay, so. thank you so much. They're all happy because they can get some fresh air. Okay. <laughs> thank, thank you. you. Thank you.